elected representatives. This is how your public servants see themselves. They are the masters. We are the slaves. They don't care. But that shouldn't stop us from calling in and demanding that they change their draconian laws that are against the con Constitution. They are anti-American. And here we have Oklahoma has now voted to nullify Agenda 21 due to the amount of people that demanded that they stop this Agenda 21 that would go against their property rights. And the Oklahoma Community Protection Act will now prohibit any state agency or political subdivision from adopting or implementing policy recommendations that would deliberately or inadvertently infringe upon or restrict private property rights without due process. So this is absolutely fantastic. The word has gotten out there, at least in Oklahoma, they have elected representatives that are responding and that know that property rights, it's in our constitution. This is what we need. People like this who are gonna stand up and know that they are our public servants, they are our representatives, not our masters. And it's high time for some change. Now stick around because we've got a very special report heavy portion of the news coming your way. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% Made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit madein1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. They say any press is good press, but when it comes to Obamacare, brand-conscious celebs just aren't willing to back this PR disaster. In spite of the intention to enlist celebrities for a landmark social media blitz, The Hill reports that Obamacare's stars are fading, with A-list backers mainly sticking to Twitter to voice support for Obamacare, while others have just only appeared in inexpensive online videos, or they've chosen to promote California's insurance marketplace instead of the notoriously troubled website, healthcare.gov. And celebrity endorsements are necessary to counter these dismal poll numbers. Support for Obamacare is dropping, and especially among its target constituencies. Millennials, the group so necessary to the Affordable Care Act's success, are largely disaffected with Obama and his health care law, with nearly half thinking their expenses will rise while their quality of care will fall. Support for the health care law declined among the uninsured this month, who are supposed to be its primary beneficiaries. Perhaps more troubling for Obama as he tries to rebrand and resell Obamacare is the Kaiser Health tracking poll that found that Obamacare is losing support among women and Democrats. 48% of women find it unfavorable, 
and approval ratings among Democrats saw a 15 percent drop in one month. The problem for Obama is that now Americans can actually see and suffer through what Obamacare actually is. No amount of good PR can change the fact that in Georgia, the fourth hospital in two years is shutting its doors due to severe financial difficulties caused by Obamacare's payment cuts for emergency services. And A-listers won't be able to quell the rate shock that consumers are experiencing once they do sign up for the Affordable Care Act, including a 539% increase for a couple in Texas and increased premiums for 11 million workers, according to Fox News. These rate hikes even prompted liberal blogger Terj Caps to express his outrage over his family's rate increase, saying, I'm canceling insurance for us and I'm not paying any penalty. What the hell kind of reform is this? Exactly, because it's not a reform, it's a subsidy, a mandate that forces you to turn over even more of your paycheck to insurance companies, or else. One celebrity tweeting about Obamacare is former MSNBC host Dylan Radigan. He had his insurance canceled thanks to Obamacare, and he wasn't pleased about it. And now experts predict almost 80 million people with employer health care plans could have coverage canceled because they aren't compliant with Obamacare. Those losses would be in addition to the millions who've already lost their individual coverage for the same reason. But Vice President Joe Biden thinks it's great that Obamacare is going to cost two million jobs because now women can stay at home and make their husbands a sandwich or something. This is about freedom. How many of you are single women with children in a dead end job? You're there because of your health insurance. You would rather have the opportunity to spend the next couple years with your child till they get, if that was your choice, till they get into primary school. You're now trapped in that job because if you leave, you lose your health insurance. Now you'll be able to do, make an independent choice. And here's what another celeb thinks of Obama's signature legislation. You know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a socialist enough that I want everybody to be, uh, have access to health care, poor or rich, you know. Uh, you know, that old line, uh, the, the rich should live and the poor should die. You know, I'm not, I'm not for that. Uh, but I, I, I think when you turn something over to one industry uh, as opposed to another industry, they're going to do what's self-serving. Uh, you know, the bill seems, you know, incredibly complex. And why are they getting exemptions? And why is Congress not participating in the same kind of system as everybody else is? Uh, you know, I, I really think that it's a big, big, big bollock. Obamacare doesn't need to be rebranded and resold. It needs to be repealed. How many more millions of Americans need to lose their health insurance and doctors that they like just because the government doesn't like their insurance? My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. We're on the march, the Empire's on the run, and the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. 
Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution. InfoWarsStore.com. I didn't concede it was torture then, and I don't concede it was it's torture now. That's John Rizzo, former acting general counsel for the CIA, who's making the rounds promoting his book about his 33 years of the bureaucracy, accurately entitled Company Man. Rizzo is definitely a company man. After watching the CIA's criminal activities exposed in the church committee hearings, Rizzo wasn't disgusted like most Americans. His response was, that was the reason I, uh, I decided to join CIA, reading the uh, revelations in the media of the findings of what was called the Church Committee, led by a senator named Frank Church. It uh, exposed for the first time a number of eyebrow-raising CIA activities from the 50s and 60s, including assassination plots against foreign leaders, drug experiments on unsuspecting U.S. citizens, mail openings during the Vietnam War. It was a, it was a rather... Uh, breathtaking array of misdeeds is the only way to put it. And I was reading it as a young lawyer and uh, thinking to myself, I have no idea whether the CIA has lawyers, but if they don't, they're probably going to need some now. And he's been defending the CIA ever since, saying that he sees himself as belonging to an exclusive, selective, secretive club. Working as a lawyer for the CIA for decades didn't help his moral compass either. His book recounts how he was at the epicenter of the ethical and legal debate on the CIA torturing suspects by waterboarding, providing legal cover for the barbaric abuses of the American government. The book is little more than sycophantic propaganda for the CIA, but it is interesting when he talks about Hollywood and how the CIA uses them to propagandize and manipulate the American public more effectively. In talking about Hollywood, he said, these are people who made a lot of money basically creating make-believe stuff. And that explains why actors are such perfect covers for intelligence operations. And he says movie industry vets are receptive to helping the CIA in any way they can. He was even approached by one actor who refused to take any money, but told them that instead all he wanted was to score the best $50,000 stash of cocaine they could find. Where would anyone get the idea that the CIA would be involved in the drug trade? I will tell you, Director Deutsch, as a former Los Angeles police narcotics detective, that the agency has dealt drugs throughout this country for a long time. The L.A. detective knows the CIA is dealing drugs. The community knows that the CIA is a drug gang. And the actor knew where the main source of drugs was coming from. But the company man, Rizzo, pretends he has no idea. Gary Webb went into more detail about how the CIA created the crack craze through Freeway Ricky Ross and used it to fund their covert wars. This was an outgrowth of a story that I had done uh, about the state of California's asset forfeiture program, which is a program where if the police believed you were a drug dealer, they could come in and take your house and your car and your money uh, without even charging you with a crime. And when I got into investigating her boyfriend's case, I came across uh, Blandone and I came across his involvement with the Contras and his involvement um, ultimately with a major crack wholesaler in Los Angeles named Freeway Ricky Ross. And so I did a series um, that, that said that the crack market in South Central Los Angeles had been created in the early 1980s with the help of this Contra drug ring and um, showed how once crack got hold in South Central, and once the gangs got a hold of it, it was spread from South Central to other cities in the United States. We track the uh, cocaine dealers who were running this operation all the way up the ladder to um, a cu the, the couple of CIA agents that were actually running the FDN, mm -hmm. uh, Enrique Bermudez and Adolfo Calero. Most of this information, or much of the information, came out at a trial in San Diego in March. One of, the, uh, one of the cocaine brokers, a guy named Danilo Blandone, who was the head of the Southern California operation, uh, has been working for the U.S. government for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And um, he was uh, the star witness in a, in a cocaine trafficking trial for the DEA 
Unfortunately, they couldn't really get into a lot of it because before the trial, the United States filed a motion asking that nobody be allowed to ask Mr. Blandone about his relationship with the CIA. Um, and it was one of the most curious documents I'd ever seen. It said, if true, this matter would be classified, and if false, it should.